Hey Nerfers, I'm Jay, and today I have an update video for you, um, but f I want to get this out of the way first. This is my first eBay listing, um, so I wanted to do a video going through each blaster that is going to be in the Nerf lot that I'm selling. Um, I have, first I have a Raider. Um, it is with an orange Mobworks Massacre kit in it, so it has a 5 kilogram spring, metal trigger catch, metal reinforcement plate, um, polycarbonate breech, and bolt sled and it is very powerful. Um, I don't have the drum drum clip for it, so it's just the blaster, um, and so that is going to be for sale. I don't have the stock either. Um, I also, uh, the reason this part looks short is because, because I cut it down to try and do a power stock mod like what Lord Draconical did, but um, it ended up detracting from the range, so um, it looks a little bit weird, but it functions fine. It kicks butt. I just never use it. So that's going to be in the lot. Um, and then I have um, a long strike, which also has an orange Modworks Massacre kit in it. As you can see, the breach is neon green and not the regular orange. Um, I haven't taken the locks out yet. I'm going to do that today, actually, um, and package it up once I take pictures of everything and uh, get it all up and running. Um, the reason that there's electrical tape on this side here is because I was being a dingus and didn't know that you could pop off the priming bar with like um, the back of a hammer so I cut through it I sawed through it with my Leatherman and um, electrical taped it back together so it, I mean it works fine it doesn't look that good so if you want you know if you have a replacement bolt sled uh, or priming bolt excuse me um, go right ahead and use that. Uh, so this has a massacre kit in it as well. It has the metal uh, spring retention cap and the metal trigger catch and the 5 kilogram spring and the fully polycarbonate bolt, uh, bolt slide and breech assembly. So I'm going to uh, take the safeties out of this because I didn't. Well, I don't know why. Um, so those are the two main guns that are going to be in this nerf lot. Um, the other things are two smaller guns. I have a Scout that I've modified. Um, when it, if you let it go and prime it forward really fast, it can fire sometimes, but it's a nice little blaster and I like it. Um, and this one, the Strike Fire, I believe it's called, I don't even know, but I've modified this one pretty pretty heavily. It's got pennies in it. It's pretty powerful for little little shooter things. So, um, these are the two smaller guns in the lot, and I'm probably going to list it for about um, 60 bucks starting bid. So, moving on to the update part. Um, my Orange Modworks long shot, uh, I ended up, I was playing around with it last night, and the priming forward priming lock wasn't working for some reason, and it kind of had popped out of its normal place. So, I just kind of took it out and put some foam backing rod on the plunger head, now the only problem is um, that there's a little bit too much on there, and when I prime it back, it's hard to load a clip because the clip catches on the edge of the the breech. So I've just been kind of waiting for the the foam backing rod to kind of compress a little bit, but um, you know I can deprime it now. It doesn't suction load, so I'm actually not worried at all. Um, so I'm very impressed with it, and it's not as loud now, and it doesn't, like, hurt my ears when, you know, I fire it, because the <laughs> plunger tube is right here, so the impact is pretty much almost right in front of my ears. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about real quickly, um, so, real quick heads up to, um, username BKO Batista, I think it is, um, he wanted me to give him a little update about, um, what I had done, um, in my case, it doesn't seem like you need the forward priming lock because um, the, the suction load doesn't seem to happen. Um, at least I haven't experienced it yet, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and so the other thing that I'm very, very excited about, and um, for, for that's for a couple reasons, is I, I'm, I know I'm doing another update on the Stripe. Um, so... My roommate, I, I found on the forums on, on Nerf Haven, I found a, a thread about um, the best motor for the Strife, and I checked it out, and it was real cheap, and my roommate ordered two of them. They're the same um, rotation 
but when you put them in the opposite sides, it, you just wire it naturally. Um, I It was my first soldering job, uh, my first rewiring. I took all the locks out, and I took, um, I just ended up just rewiring. There's a little panel in the back here, in this area, that if you don't take out, it won't allow you to use truss fires. But this is just with three double A's and one truss fire, one ultra fire. And this is what it sounds like. So, that's really awesome. Um, and, you know, I'm not really a big fan of um, electric guns, but I like working on them. I don't really like using them. Um, I'm more of a fan of the prime them yourself and fire one round, you know, kind of thing. But that's just my preference. Um, my roommate loves this thing, and he rapes with it at Nerf Club. Like, he, he was on his A game uh, last week. So, um... This week it should be even better because now he's got the um, the motors in it. So I'm going to put a link um, down below for the the where you can purchase the motors. They are very cheap, um, but I recommend you know don't try it if you haven't soldered anything before. I'm because I've done soldering rip before. Like I I repaired my base myself. So. Um, like, I've, I've soldered stuff before, but I've never worked on a Nerf gun before. That was my first time. So I'm really proud with how, you know, how well it turned out. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend doing this if you've never soldered anything before. Have, like, your parent do it or something. Or have someone do it who you trust. So, yeah. But I'm really excited about that. So if you're interested in purchasing that Nerf gun lot, um, there's going to be a link below in the description. Um, as well as a link for where to purchase those motors. So thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe so I can keep making videos. Um, if you have any comments or questions, just shoot them my way. Uh, no pun intended. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to sending these guns to somebody who wants them and will use them more than I will. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Jay, signing off.